What's up YouTube, Jeremiah Hersey here from Pragmatic Works, and today we're talking about the average A function. Now the A functions are typically used on a text or non-numeric columns, and they're going to return a value of zero for false and a value of one for true. Now typically these A functions are used on a Boolean column or a true false column to return specific values such as reports submitted, invoices submitted, contracts, uh, submitted, whatever the case might be. And so with this Boolean column, we're going to use the average A function to find the average of reports submitted based on this Boolean true false. So once again, the false value is going to return zero, a true value is going to return one, and then we can find the average on that Boolean value, which is typically how this average A function is used. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the PBIX file. If you want to download it, if you look in the comments section, there's a little link. You can download the PBIX file if you want to follow along. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we are inside of our PBIX file, and you can see that we have just a couple days here. So two days, and we can see here there is a request submitted column. So on March 15th here, we had one report submitted and two were not submitted. And then we can see down here in the bottom on March 16th that all three reports were submitted. So what we wanna do is we wanna get a percentage of the report submitted for this particular day. Now once again, this is a text column. The request submitted is just a Boolean text column here. And so we're just going to create a new measure. And we'll call this measure percent of reports submitted. And we're going to be using the average A function. And notice it says it returns the average of values in a column. It handles text and non-numeric values. So typically the way that these A functions are used are on a Boolean column, a true-false column, uh, to return the value that you're looking for. And so we're going to use average A here. And we're just going to take the average of the request submitted column. So we're going to go ahead and return that. And we'll go ahead and bring in a new visual here. So I'll bring in a matrix. And I'll bring in the reporting day. I'll change out this hierarchy here. And then I'll bring in my measure. So we can see relatively easy to create. So on March 15th, we had 0.33. And obviously, we kind of wanted this in a percentage. So we'll have to format this properly as a percentage. So to do that, we're going to select our measure. And measure tools will appear at the top of the screen. We can then format this as a percent. All right, so we can see here, we have one third of our report submitted is true for 33%. For our March 16th, all values are equating to true, so we're getting 100%. And then you also see that average of reports submitted as well. So whatever your scenario is for using this Boolean true false column, you can use the A functions to return a value based on that true and false. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next one.